So these modern women, they have a requirement for a lot of you men. They require a lot of you to make a lot of money in order to date them because they feel that they're worthy of this. But let's review it. What does a man got to bring to the table to be with you? His money. Boy. And you did you see how she looked? Money. Money. Like a hundred thousand. At least fifty, sixty. Okay. Fifty, sixty thousand. Okay. Let me let me back that up. This woman right here requires you to make fifty or sixty thousand. Now, does she look like she's making fifty, sixty thousand or anything related close to that? You know, when I when I, listen, just seeing her right now. The way she's coming across her entitlement, and you know, this this only thing I'm hitting in my head with her. Chase the biscuit, chase the chase goodness, the goodness of, the of the biscuit. Chase the butter spread, chase the goodness of the biscuit with the butter spread. That's the only thing I, I hear with her right now, but she got requirements on you. Sixty. I like the rich scammers. I want the scammer. <laughs> so basically, you want a criminal, because scammers are criminals. So you want $100,000 a year, which is top 3% earners, and you want criminals. And usually those criminals are going to get you pregnant, and guess who's going to have to deal with your with, with the seed of, of, of a criminal? They're going to come to you brothers with it. And listen, people get mad when you want to say, I don't care. When you have a child, part of who they are is in that child, part of who that other that woman is in that child. And no matter if that child never meet that dude, that is still in them. And you're going to have a hard time sometime trying to deal with things. Like if he had a criminal behavior, if he was just doing things that was wrong, cause that's part of his character. Okay. That part of his character can get in that child and you dealing with the same issue and problem. This is why when you look at people who, you know, let's say they're real smart, right? And they get the wife is smart. The husband is smart. You know, they have a good, you know, they study a lot. They do whatever. What happens sometimes to their kids? Not all the time, but their kids can come out that way. Just saying. That's fast money. I need all his money. He need oh, God. She need all his money. Her. She need your money. How many of y'all want to want to date her? To get that trap money, he's got to be a milli. You mean millionaire? She not worth it either. Let, let, let's, let's let's go let's go back to to that that chick. Let's go back to her right here. This one, she not worth anything either. A millionaire, so so you deserve the top one percent. I deserve. I deserve to be. This female says she deserves a top 1% of earners in the United States of America. Her. She don't even qualify for, for the, for the bottom of earners. She don't qualify. She look like she barely got an education, but this is a delusion. What a lot of men talking about all that whole cast of characters, no matter who they are, not worth anything. Once again, it goes back to that transactional relationship that we were talking about on here that a lot of these modern American women are on. Everything's a transaction to them. You know, I mean, like you go in the store, buy something, you get something out of the deal like that. They're not about giving anything. And, and the key to this transactional relationship these modern women have, the root of it is selfishness, fellas. It's selfishness. They're selfish. They're not trying to sit up here and, and say, Hey, what I'm going to, you know, what we're going to do together, what we're going to grow together. We're going to build together. No, it's not that it's about gimme, 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 gimme. That's it. In the, in the process, you'd be saying, gimme, 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 gimme. You don't bring nothing at all. And then you, then you claim to bring some of you, Oh, a look and what, and what's between your legs. No, you're not bringing anything at that point. You're not. And this is why a lot of men are sick of you. So you out here demanding a man make a certain amount of money. Once again, they're demanding a lot of them, the top 3% of earners, which is a hundred thousand dollars or more. Some of them are demanding 80,000 or more, which is a top 25% of earners in the United States. And they, they don't qualify. 
This is why they're on the internet saying silly things like that. This is why those men who are making 80,000, 100,000, uh, you know, 1 million, this is why they, this is why they're on the planes, fellas. This is why. I feel for y'all. Like I said, God bless y'all. <laughs> A lot of you, you men out here dealing with this. And, you know, some of the women that make comments, you know, you say you're not that way. I always say that you got to stand out of the crowd. Uh, you need to be loud and you need to be proud and let these men know, you know, you're out there and you want to be picked and you want to get married. Um, use the, use the word marriage a lot. Um, that's something you say, you're not out here to look to perpetual date and stand out from that crowd to stand out from it. Because yes, you have the home field advantage like sports. You have the home field advantage ladies. You do the passport bro movement is more so as a last resort. It wasn't the first choice. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, if you correct yourself, I'm talking about some of these women, if you learn how to correct yourself, maybe you can get a man maybe, but with the passport bro thing going on and it's catching on more and more and more and more and more. <laughs> It's going to be difficult. You have to compete with those other, those other women and you have to compete on how they move at the same time. So watch the passport bro videos and, and check out how those women are getting down and maybe you need to mimic that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about these modern women right here on the screen. They crazy. I feel for you.